if you're trying to convince people to stop using these wall of text poster layouts and start using these more modern, more evidence-based billboard style poster layouts and people are giving you crap, like they're pushing back against the idea. First, if you're gonna recommend this original better poster billboard style layout, make sure it's the version with the graph in the middle. That little extra bit of complexity really helps win people over. But this layout is kind of too famous for its own good. People recognize it. So instead, you can get sneaky and recommend layouts like this. This is still a better poster layout, still a billboard style poster layout, works just the same way, but it has a little bit more density of graphs and figures. Here's an even newer one, same better poster principles, just about a minute of total content, a little bit more dense feeling. I found that this layout and this layout convince people at a much higher rate than that first layout. Simple designs can be better for learning than complex designs, but they're not necessarily better for liking. People hate things that are too simple or too complex, and they love things that are at like an ideal level of complexity. It kind of looks like this, where if it's too simple, it feels too easy. If it's too complex, it feels too hard. They want something at that midpoint of complexity in order to like it. So you can see this reflected in how I updated the better poster layouts. That first original billboard style poster layout felt too simple for some people. And I tried to make it too simple kind of on purpose because I wanted to see what we were missing. But you can see in these later better poster layouts that they include more graphs and figures, include a little bit more complexity. They approach more of that ideal level of complexity without getting too cluttered like the wall of text. The first one was very famous, so it got adopted that way. But in terms of people's reaction, I get a much better reaction when I show new people these sort of ideal complexity level posters. I used to get really frustrated with this because people would come up to me with the first better poster layout over here and they'd be like, it's too simple. And I'd be like, yeah, but you didn't even read all of this poster, so why would I put more on it? And I eventually had to realize that it's not just about creating an efficient learning experience. For mass adoption, we probably need something that compromises a little bit on efficiency and gets us more of that positive emotional response because of this more ideal level of complexity. And I've shown these generation two and three better poster layouts to people who hated the first one. And they'll see these and they'll be like, oh yeah, I like those much better. I totally am bored with this now. So it actually wins over converts. So if you're trying to get adoption, I would actually skip recommending that original famous billboard style layout despite the evidence behind it. And I would start recommending these more updated billboard style poster layouts that feel a bit more complex, but are still way better than the wall of text. Kind of an annoying quirk of human psychology, but we gotta go with it.